February 2nd, we are on the road. We're going, Billy, would you like to tell them where we're going? We're going to North Carolina Wesleyan College to perform. I'm trying to get oh. in the camera. Okay. okay. We're, going to, we're going to North Carolina Wesleyan College to perform on WHIG TV. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a great time. And Wait, Drew's driving. This is dangerous. What does WIG TV stand for? Yeah. I actually have no idea. Maybe it stands for Whimsical Holiday. No. Intimidating genres. No. I bet that's what it is. Wesleyan. No, because they haven't always been at Wesleyan. But anyway, oh. it's going to be fun. We're here at WHIG TV. Ben, how do you feel, man? Feeling good. Feeling good? This is going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Want to make something? What? Just look at this. This is, this is, I don't say I'm going to back up a second. You can't see me because I'm holding the camera, but this is kind of... This is kind of where we're playing here. Can you hear me? And it's going to be fun. Let's see. We got couches over here. And they, I've been told we're going to be interviewed on these couches. I'm not sure about all that. There's Jake. Say hi to the people at home, Jake. Hi. You got stuff going on? This moment doesn't make much sense. Sitting here on couches that we're getting ready to be interviewed on, which I've never really been interviewed before. Drew, Drew, what do you think we're going to talk about? You got any ideas? Ooh, I don't. Ben, what do you think we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about this couch. This couch. Can, tell this me about couch. Bentley. Can you tell me about this couch? It's a red couch. It's a. It is a red couch. It is a foam couch. Okay. Okay. And it's a red stitched foam couch. Red stitched foam couch. You don't say. Well, look at it. You can really tell that we're desperate for entertainment for something to do right now. <laughs> so, Ben, what are you most excited about about being on the TV show tonight? Sitting on a couch. You feel excited about sitting on this couch? Yep. Out of all the things you could be most excited about, for it's the, TV the couch. Show, you're most excited about sitting on this couch. Yes. Fantastic. Right right Sounds here. like fun. Coming at you live from WHIG TV, the studio. The Check it out, y'all. Is this not cool? It is cool. God is good. That's all I got to say. And there's a I'm green not, wall. but he is. So, what do you do when you're in a business building with a TV studio and you're bored and you're waiting for the show to start? You ride an elevator. Let's see this elevator. Come on. Oh, there's only two, only two floors, so we can't go that far. Banyet, would you like to tell us about this elevator? What can you tell us about this elevator? It is a rectangle. It's actually a rectangular prism. Mm, wow. It has metal rails and it it beeps. It, it tells beeps. you what level we're on. It was made by Otis. Oh yeah, it was. So the guy from the Maxim industry. Maximum capacity is 2,100 pounds. Oh. We're, we're definitely going to go over that. So It sounds more like you know what you're doing. That's right. That's right. Well, how'd you get the name Triple Knot? Well, it comes from the verse Ecclesiastes 4.12, which mentions the three-fold oh, three cord is not easily broken. Okay. Mm -hmm. And 
there's three of us and we're all brothers, so. Yeah. We were, com we were experimenting with band names and they, we first started really doing this seriously and we were like, we need something that had a little bit of a ring to it. Triple Knot was kind of stuck. And so. So you write music. Yes, Obviously, because those three songs yes, were your song. Yes, ma'am. That's, that's Do right. You, does this music just come from the heart? Um, are they from experiences that you've had? It's some of both. It's some of both. Sometimes it's uh, like the song Silent Sky that we just played earlier was when my best friend was diagnosed with um, right. brain cancer a couple yeah. years ago. I heard you say that. And yeah. so some songs are like that. Other ones are just me thinking about um, just thinking about life, thinking about how good God is and how messed up I am right. in retrospect of that. Because I can tell you honestly, there's nothing really good here. Anything that I have to offer is just from Jesus. I can't offer anything of myself. But um, so a lot of times it's just me contemplating how good God is, how much he's forgiven me of, how much I've been redeemed and set free to, to be a better person and to, uh, to serve him. And uh, so a lot of sometimes it's just me thinking about things like that. So you're the songwriter in the group? Yes, ma'am, I do most of the writing. These guys pitch in a little bit, but most of the, see, that, here's the thing. I can't do any of what they do. These guys are geniuses, so I just think okay, here's the song. Okay, get you credit. Oh. <laughs> now, the big brother doesn't normally do that. No, these guys are geniuses. They can... They can do so many things I can't do. I wish I could sit here and brag on them for hours. But.